a familiar sight of liquid underneath a car. Well, my car's coolant um, upper radiator hose or whatever exploded. Um, I don't know why, but as you can see, this whole thing came off. Um, and luckily, it's just the hose. I thought it was the I thought the thermostat lived up here, and I thought the thermostat was also broken because this plastic bit is brittle and broken off. But I realized it's just the hose because the hose is a hose with um, a plastic end that is a connector. Um, so it looks like I just need to replace that, but it was annoying. Um, I was in the in and out drive through and then it was totally fine. Right when I got the burger and got out of the drive through line, I saw a bunch of steam. And so that's when um, I had to pull over and then get the car towed all the way back home actually. So that was kind of annoying, but I don't know. I think everything's okay. It's just this hose. So I just need to take this out. First thing I have to do is remove this plate, which looks like it's just this. All right, with the plate out of the way, and then I just pulled this plastic cover off. No bolts. Um, I think I can just pry up on this metal clip and then pull these off. One there, one here. And then this is a weird looking hose, so there's also that little one that goes down right here. Two there. If I can get this to focus, yeah. All right, 10 minutes and it's out, but not without a mess. Oops. Hope I don't get fined or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the old one. And I'm over here where it connected, where it broke. Uh, the O-ring was still stuck to it. Some of the plastic, even though we yanked it off and broke it off, still stuck to it. Um, so looks like this part just, just really brittle. I guess through some heat cycles, it finally broke. Just need to replace it now and bleed the coolant. And of course I got the wrong part. So back to O'Reilly's to get the right one. Also something I'm a little questioning is that um, I think on FCP Euro, if you were to buy it from there, the OEM is Rain, the brand, but um, O'Reilly's only sells Gates and Master Pro or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna, on the E46, I feel like the hoses, and even my E28, the hoses didn't fit well unless they were OEM, um, so Rain's brand. There was also a Gates hose on Amazon that had a good review for someone who on the E60 uh, replaced their hose, so I'm just gonna give it a shot because I don't wanna wait for until the end of the week for shipping. All right, at least it's the right part. Sometimes O'Reilly gets that wrong too when they order something, so that's a good start, but it's getting dark and I think I'll just pick this up tomorrow. All right, back at it. Just needs to go on like that. Well, after getting all the hoses on, the connectors, I realized that this is also broken. At least this one's an easy fix, but dang, I gotta either wait for the part or hopefully O'Reilly has it. Okay, I got the part. Anyways, replace it. I just gotta add coolant and bleed the system. Okay, put everything back together, and as you can hear, the coolant is going through its cycle to bleed the air. I think it finished, but I'm gonna do it again for good measure. I'll show you this time. So, press the start button. Obviously not turning the car on. It's on auto already. Turn it to hot. And then just hit the accelerator for 10 seconds. Let it go. And that's it. Go listen to it. You can hear it. And that's pretty much it. After that, I'm going to test drive it.